You're him, right? Excuse me? The scientist, the guy. I saw you on TV. I believed you. <laughs> Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! Hey guys, I'm back again for another Jurassic World Mattel toy review and we're going back to Mattel Creations with another figure set. And I'm just gonna assume that this is obviously a Hammond Collection figure set, but then again, it's Mattel Creations. Now, last time from Mattel Creations, we reviewed the Ray Arnold set that came out, I think in 2021, but I actually got it in January of that next year at that point, 2022. So now we have another Mattel Creations set unveiled and originally, I had no idea if I had any like intentions of getting this set, but then again, I really also really like the diorama that it comes with. So let's just be real, it's obviously still a very nice set overall. So we have this really cool looking box over here, <laughs> which for some reason reminds me more of the uh, Jurassic Park Ultimate Trilogy Blu-ray set from 2011. I think it was 2011 when that came out, but whatever the heck year it was. But that's what this is reminding me of. It reminds me a lot of that because you got that cool looking aesthetic with the classic Jurassic Park logo. And that's all there really is in the box. So it's just got that nice scratched up uh, aesthetic that I'm so familiar with, with the entire franchise. There's nothing else important on the bottom or anything. It's just, that's what this is. Might as well go ahead and unbox this to see what's inside. <laughs> Open stuff like that. <laughs> Be sure to get everything out without messing anything up. <laughs> I was gonna put that to the side. And it is the Jurassic Park Chaos Theory Dr. Ian Malcolm set. That's what this is called. Already right off the bat, it is such a fun looking set. Just this book aesthetic. This is Ian Malcolm's book, God Creates Dinosaurs. <laughs> Even has the banner on the side with Malcolm's name on the top. And then on the back, you of course get a production image of Ian Malcolm, Jeff Goldblum himself, and a bio obviously on the bottom. <laughs> Nothing else special on the bottom, it's just the same typical trademark logo as you put on the side. I'm assuming you open this from the bottom. So, it looks like a book, but it's honestly a diorama set. So we're opening it up, that thing just slid out. But yeah, there it is. <laughs> Honestly, this window might be coming handy for a toy movie. I might use this someday. <laughs> I'll just leave that to the side. Before we take a close look at any of this, we're gonna go ahead and take this off and get the figure out of there. And just lay him down. If this is even the right position. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I can go over anything else other than the fact that this Ian Malcolm figure is really fun. I mean, it's just such a good looking figure. This is gonna go ahead and get him out of this pre-established pose and just take a closer look at Ian Malcolm right off the bat. You see that he has a really nice likeness to Jeff Goldblum. Basically, I think a similar head sculpt to the Hammond Collection Ian Malcolm as typical, just without the holes in his uh, head to fit the glasses. But overall, pretty nice looking head sculpt of Jeff Goldblum. And now you see him completely shirtless <laughs> with a few chest hairs, though it should be a little bit more detailed, but they just sprinkled a tiny bit on there. But overall, it looks okay. But it's just the overall detailing of the figure looks really good. Just this typical standard for the Hammond Collection uh, aesthetic. Got the same articulation points, movable wrists and everything. <laughs> but this time he's also got the bandaged leg with the little bamboo sticking out right there. Honestly, it just looks nice overall. He's also got the belt sculpted on there too. <laughs> it's just typically, it's a completely different figure than the... Um, original release, which we are going to go ahead and compare it with, which is right here. Still kept this jacket on because I think he still does look good with the jacket on. <laughs> but yeah, this is the same figure. Well, head scope wise looks the same, but it's just repurposed a bit. But overall, it is a different body, I guess. Everything is a little different. I guess the, I'm not sure if the uh, crotch plate is the same. Maybe it is different. Well, I, yeah, I think it might be the same a little bit. I might be wrong. 
but overall it definitely does look like they reuse and i don't think they reuse any parts i'm just second guessing myself but overall they both look really nice i would bring out my dominion ian malcolm figure to compare it to but he's not ian malcolm anymore he is now mickey gaffis <laughs> a custom character that i made using dominion ian's body don't worry i did buy an extra uh, dominion ian malcolm and it's coming in soon so don't have to worry too much about that but i do want to show off this custom figure for a little bit <laughs> but anyway this is about the ian malcolm figure not about that not about that custom character Overall, don't have anything else to say other than it's just a great figure. It looks really nice. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Really, really nice Ian Malcolm figure. Just good to own this figure. Anyways, let's just go take a look at the diorama that it comes with because this is one of the reasons why I bought this set. It's just such a nice looking diorama. It looked like a good little recreation of the control room of Jurassic Park. I'm gonna take my tripod off of here and just go ahead and look at the many details. It's, honestly, this is the bed of Ian Malcolm sits on definitely got definitely does got that nice texturing on there so doesn't look too bad I also see these little lights over here because this activates the sounds as soon as you press the bed because it's a gimmick right there and it's got this little rail over here the only rail that's there and a vent or supposedly a vent down here but over here which you might not be able to get and see in good lighting but this is the wall with the skeletons and everything and the door actually does rotate and move though it doesn't have an exit but it does rotate and you can see the other side which has more bones but it does look really nice overall just a really cool looking detail to match the original movie also forgot to show on the bottom that there are some really cool texturing on the bottom as well i'm not sure this is supposed to be like this maybe this is scuffed this might be a quality control issue. I had to go back and look. I'm not sure, but yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of white on here. But the only detail I wanted to go close up is not only just a nice texturing, but the scars on here. Look at the scars of a Velociraptor because that's the only thing that would be rocking around in that damn control room. But yeah, there's only two scar marks over here made by a Raptor. But overall, the whole set looks really, really nice. So of course, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the gimmick that it obviously does. So similar to the Ray Arnold set, which contained this generator over here, the same generator, which I always display in some of my videos, which has a press the button right here, and it lights up and says Ray Arnold's quotes on that one. But this one, you press the bed that Ian is sitting on, and it activates the same lights. <laughs> Same white and blue lights while also simultaneously saying in Malcolm quotes that are obviously iconic. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. <laughs> That's just one of them. <laughs> That's such an iconic quote. When you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> think they'll have that on the tour? I'm simply saying that life uh, finds a way. See, here I'm now by myself, uh, uh, talking to myself. That's, that's okay, I'm still. <laughs> Wait a minute, what do you mean it worked? Everything's still off. Hmm. Life will not be contained. I'm guessing you might be saying a lot more quotes, but that's just the plethora of quotes that Ian Malcolm says in this medical bed he's sitting in. And for another thing to take a look at, well, here is the Risky Rescue Jeep 10 with Ellie Sattler and Robert Muldoon. Well, Robert Muldoon doesn't come with the set, but it's just the Ellie Sattler figure that we reviewed. And as you can see, Ian Malcolm, this particular version, now the right one, with the injured leg, is sitting in there and he looks just as good as he should be. He looks nice and he fits in very snug, doesn't really fall off, obviously. It's just he's going to sit down in there, his injured leg and everything. But yeah, he does look really nice in this vehicle. So now we have the right Ian Malcolm figure to display instead of just taking one of these random ones, these uh, basic ones without the injured leg. <laughs> Now we have the right one. One more thing I hadn't even noticed about this Ian Malcolm figure that actually still works like the previous Hammond Collection Ian is that you can pull the arms out of this and you can probably interchange them <laughs> just like the other Ian, which I didn't think that was even possible that this one would have it. <laughs> okay, he just kind of hurts now. He just, okay, this is so weird. <laughs> okay, I took the arms and jacket off of the other Ian Malcolm figure and they actually really do fit snugly just like the other Ian. 
it actually doesn't look too bad. It looks really nice. <laughs> so yeah, it got a lot of interchangeable material. So that that honestly is just pretty cool right there. And now he's just wearing just the jacket, nothing else. <laughs> Alrighty, that's gonna end this review of the Jurassic World Mattel Creations Chaos Theory Dr. Ian Malcolm set. Yeah, just a fun set overall. It's definitely been shipping around, I guess. I'm not sure if this is even still available on Mattel Creations website, but I did pick this up off of eBay and thankfully it didn't cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> definitely recommend picking this set up. It's just another really cool set from Mattel and it's just overall very fun. Just a just really good to have another Ian Malcolm figure in the collection and also just really fun to part it up with all these other figures and such. It's just such a good scene and also just the diorama in general is one reason why I really love this set. And of course the light up. Uh, now eventually you do plan to have dinosaurs on your, on your dinosaur motor, right? Okay, first of all, I didn't know he said that one. <laughs> Any more quotes he says? Yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't start to think of the shine. Okay, I guess that I guess we'll end the review off there. Hope you guys enjoy this review and I'll be seeing you guys later.